Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Andrea Walker. Colleges are still adjusting to the rise of artificial intelligence, which comes with both obstacles and opportunities. Josh Short spoke with leaders from the University of Kentucky to see how they plan to use AI in the upcoming semester. While AI continues to evolve, students can expect to see more of it being used at UK. More than 30 faculty, staff and students formed a team called UK Advance a group that meets to brainstorm the best ways to use generative AI. There's a balance, and UK Advance has sought to move forward with a balance of curiosity and caution in looking at these tools because there are some kind of obvious areas of concern when we're talking about this technology. And as an institution of higher education, we want to make sure that we're proceeding in a way to where we can use these uh, technologies responsibly, ethically, where we're not undercutting uh, student learning. The conversation started with the public release of ChatGPT. This college, like others, is now looking to enhance instruction, which will look different depending on the coursework. The possibilities have led to a lot of questions, but also excitement. While there are many people who are concerned about some of the impacts that this technology can have, we're also looking at the opportunities for sort of increasing capacity for work, for uh, generating more innovative ideas. After the research, guidelines have been put in place to get as much educational benefit from this as possible, while making sure there are ways to deter misuse of AI. And this has profound implications for what it means to write, uh, to uh, generate ideas, and to work collaboratively with, you know, an intelligence, so to speak, that is not human, but it's going to be a part of people's writing workflows professionally in the future. And that's something that we're both very excited uh, and curious about and appropriately cautious when it comes to some of the areas of concern. Since AI is constantly evolving, this team will keep working to find new ways to make it work for the university mission. In Lexington, Josh Short, Fox 56 News.